Hello everybody, my name is Louis DePuy and today I have another Minecraft tutorial for y'all. I hope you like it, please like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. Yup, you heard it, it's gonna be an upgradable castle. At this time it's just like a really small house standing on its own. But before you even know it, it's gonna expand into a big massive castle. Or if you would prefer that, you could stop in between or go until the end or just build this really small house so let's start shall we so first off start at the front build a pillar of two two blocks gap in between then three blocks once again three blocks one block three blocks one block gap and then you actually do the same as the other side. So three blocks gap and three blocks gap. So for this part, for the front, we'll need to fill in this wall right here. And then for the rest, we'll need to fill in the part in behind those pillars, just like that, to actually create some little arches later on. Now you can start building the stair going to uh, the upper part of those uh, of this platform because actually we are now building a platform, believe it or not. And what I really like about buildings is that there is really a difference in height. To you know, you don't want like a square building, but you don't want a building just with one dimension. And uh, the attractive parts of most of the buildings, in my opinion, is the difference in dimensions. Like, uh, for example, a roof that is higher than another roof, or a balcony lowered to another balcony, or, you know, a stair going to this platform, for instance. Alright, once that is done, you actually have to fill in this old uh, gap with like some spruce wood. And then your platform will be finished. Then once again on this part, like a little part of the platform once again. And now you will be able to go up. Put down some fences to prevent yourself from falling when you run up, I guess. And it looks a little bit more attractive in my opinion. remove this one because this one is not great all right and just place uh, put down the the stairs this way like I do right here so right here you put one gap one gap and once again you go around one gap one gap and you go around looking great take some spruce wooden logs so those are a little bit darker. I tried something else for once because normally I would use like some oak wooden logs, but I don't know. I want to keep like a really detail, a little bit dark color to this building. And I don't know how it will turn out in the end, but we'll see, I guess. We'll work something out. Oh, and I actually didn't count, but so for those two pillars, it's like six. Those five, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and for like the ones that are uh, next to the other one like those are eight and the ones in front are like three then you just like rejoin those beams all together one two three and four for those and four for this one as well so now just keep an eye for how I build the roof because it's gonna be a little bit complicated to explain but as long as you follow like how I place or put down the blocks I think it's gonna be quite easy actually what you have to do is put down a stair then one full block in beneath it and then just repeat the same pattern so one block in beneath this one once again until you reach like this part do the same on the other side go one like that and just go around because you already put down those beams so it should rejoin right there and actually you have to repeat the same thing on the other side so like one block in beneath it and once again I'm sorry if I'm going fast I tend to say that every single video but if it's going fast you can always like rewind the, the video or put it down on a slower uh, pace so that you can see exactly where I put down those blocks I just want to keep this video short because you know I don't want to waste too much of your time and if it's taking way too long for me to explain something I think it's not gonna be fun to watch it So this is really a weird design, I just like put those like this and then just some single slabs. It's gonna be the balcony for the other side and it's actually I think in the future gonna rejoin for another building that I'm gonna connect up to it. So you might want to remove the fences that I want or that I'm going to put down later on. But for now it's like a good view and it looks nice in my opinion. Now what we have to do is actually rejoin everything, so just like that. I'm trying to actually finish this video for you guys because that's been two weeks once again and I can't always make them so you know I'm trying to find the time to make those videos and to keep you guys happy so I don't want to uh, to lose my track to those videos once again and I, at this time I want to keep uploading at least every two weeks or if I can every single week and maybe in the future if I will have more time for videos I could actually upload more often in a week even but for now let's keep it at one week or two weeks
So just for a little bit of depth, I'm putting down those stairs like that because I don't really like blend walls. And sometimes I'm just trying to explain you guys some techniques that I use so that you can actually build your own buildings and don't need my help if you can do it yourself. So that's that could be amazing. So in this way I'm putting down like the windows laid on in a different height. Like as you can see in the middle, it's a little bit higher than those two on the sides. Those gaps, you know, where I will put down those fences, those uh, fences, those um, paints. Here I'm doing exactly the same as the other side. So putting those four blocks and then two stairs blocks like this upside down to keep that little bit of depth once again. I'm using like the white stained paints because I think that the blend ones look too, I don't know, vanilla Minecraft. It's, it's like the old Minecraft and you know, you, you need to keep using the new kind of blocks, if you get what I mean. So you'll actually see at this right moment, I will use some um, trapdoors, but actually the dark oak trapdoors. But if you don't find some dark oak, you can even use like some spruce trapdoors, and I really like those as well. But it's just to like add a little bit of different color and to actually blend the spruce color and the log color of the spruce wooden logs together, you know? Because the color is a little bit of in between, if you get what I mean. And then for the flower pots, we actually have like those spruce trapdoors, which looks way better than those um, oak uh, trapdoors that we used to use. And for the flower choice, you can use whatever you want, but I'm using two tulips of the same color right here. But it would be more attractive if you use different colors right there. Now to prevent yourself from falling down, of course on fences, and it even looks good. And to play a little bit with the color as well, use some oak fences. And then you, you'll need to get up uh, eventually, of course. And here I use some a little bit of, yeah, um, a little trick to uh, separate those two places, but you still have a window that is giving light in the house. <laughs> Not that you really need that, but... And then of course, just like a trapdoor to uh, close this gap and to prevent anything from falling down or climbing up. And just to make it looking like a little bit rounder, you just put down some stairs right there. And that will almost be it. For the last thing, you'll need to put down some um, spruce um, buttons to actually connect the log with the actual spruce uh, planks. So that's it guys for this building if you really like oh like the shovel a little path But that's it for the building guys if you like this video don't forget to leave a like comment uh, about anything ideas or what you actually thought about this building and if you're new of course subscribe it would be um, amazing because every sing uh, single subscriber or comment or like makes uh, puts a smile on my face so I'm not lying about it. I'm always reading them. If I don't respond to them, I actually forgot to respond to them. But like literally all the time people put comments down on videos, I try to comment on them or respond to them. So yeah, thank you for watching and until the next time, goodbye.